Hey guys, I want to talk about limb length really quick. So I've talked in the past about my build, how I have short limbs and a long torso. I carry all my height my torso. I always joke that my torso is 6'3 and my arms and legs are 5'4. So you split the difference, I'm 5'10. So it makes for some uh, interesting positioning requirements when I'm working out my squat or my deadlift or even my pressing. So it turns out that my build is actually really good for squatting. It's in fact, some of the best squatters you're gonna find, shorter legs, longer torso, um, not so great for deadlifting. And that's not an excuse, it's just something I've had to become aware of to figure out how to work around. And I actually consider myself an okay deadlifter right now. So one way, if you're curious how to kind of figure out, do I have short legs relative to my, to my torso? You don't have to get a measuring tape, you don't have to do any calculations. Just get in a leg press, get in a leg press, get your feet kind of medium high, and I want you to see where your knees land on your chest. And it's actually one of the reasons I hate leg pressing. It's because I have shorter legs, it makes it hard for me to get a lot out of them because my range is limited. But from right here, you can see my knees. This is my shoulder, this is my knees, okay? Does, do I look a little mismatched right now? So as I push up, and I let that sled back down, I see my knees, they barely even get to my nipples, okay? That's how short my legs are. Whereas some of you long leg a-holes are gonna find your knees get back by your ears, okay? I mean, if I had the flexibility, I think my toes might get back to my ears if I had my legs straight. So that's how absolutely mismatched my lower and upper body are. I'm pretty sure I was conceived under some electrical cables. So now that you have a visual of how my legs are matched to my upper body, you see that the shorter legs can slide up and down very easily. Uh, there's a lot, there's a big margin for error. You know, it's, I don't have to squat on a, the head of a dime because my knees can only go so far forward or so far back and the leverages are pretty goddamn similar where if you have much longer legs, it's, it's not quite the same. But also notice as I squat, because my legs are so short relative to my legs, look how far forward my torso has the potential to end up, which basically means I'm gonna benefit from a more upright position because as I get forward very quickly, the weight is just gonna pitch me forward, my upper back's gonna collapse. Also for deadlifts, right? For deadlifts, I have these short little legs, so trying to sit back, my shoulders are way over my knees and toes right now, which means I'm not gonna be a very efficient stiff-legged puller because right now the bar is four inches in front of my toes, which means I gotta work extra hard to pull that bar back. And if I sit back, I gotta sit way back to try and neutralize those leverages. So what did that mean for me? That meant years of deadlifting where my hips had a bunch of horsepower that my torso could not hold because I was so disadvantaged everything went round. And you see this nice hump of meat I have on my mid back. I developed that probably within the first two to three years of deadlifting. And it was a way my body compensated for, well, my shitty setup, but also my shitty leverages. So that thickness was a way for my body to adapt so that my body basically didn't bow like a long fishing pole anymore. And it was kind of necessary to my development. So this is just something I was thinking about when I was leg pressing. Uh, hop in, see where you line up. Maybe you'll have some uh, aha moments to uh, pairing that discovery with some of your other compound movements. But let me know what you find. Are you, were you shocked to discover that your knees ended up by your ears? You know, what? what's your squatting style like? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. Let us know what you found out. But until next time, this is Bromley from Empire Barbell. Thanks for watching.